Hey YouTube and welcome to a review of my Lego Mock Modular Family House. So this ties in with the modular theme and this one's pretty big. I had to break up the uh, one person townhouse that was beige because I had to get all those beige bricks here. So let's get right on it. So we start here with the door and you have the windows on either side and the plank detail just here all these tiles here I had some tiles left over from the Lego Mark Posh townhouse so I decided to just use some of them there and use some of the light red ones as well and here's the overgrown garden well not overgrown, this one's quite tidy actually so it's got all sorts of flowers and plants and you can see in the porch that there's a guy doing vacuum cleaning in there. And there's some wooden planking detail on the windows. And the windows are inset. Here you can see a little bed in the window there. This roof was actually quite hard to do. It took a lot of um, trial and error. Here's the chimney. And on the, on the um, sides, you can see these uh, other coloured bricks. There's a flesh coloured. This was for two reasons. One, I don't have enough beige bricks to cover it all. And two, it kind of looks like rough bricks. You know. Kill two birds in one stone. And then you have these little details on top of the windows as well. So that side's the same. And then here, it's actually quite bland. But I didn't have enough space because I wanted to have it on a 32 by 32 base plate because otherwise it would be a bit too long. But you know, that's alright. No one's going to look at that part. So now let's go ahead and look at the first floor. So here we have the ground floor, not the first floor, sorry. Um, so we have the checkered lawn and we have a trampoline there and kid mum playing. I've used some chains for the fence and there's a little mailbox there. So then you go in and here you can see a green rug with lime green spots on it. To represent a 3D carpet with little bumps in it. It's got a red carpet, which is the same for all the hallways actually in this building. You can see a remnant of the planks over there. Here we have the little dining room slash living area. Also in here you can see the television, the flat screen that's mounted on the wall. And then here we have the toilet. And before you say that the door is see-through, um, it's tinted, I think, I hope. So here is the bath, which is relatively uh, good. Um, here's the sink and the toilet. And that's about it for that room. So now we can... Move on to the next floor. Oh no, no, no. Here is the fireplace. And you can faintly see a couple of flames in the bottom. And then that just leads to the chimney over there. So, now let's look on the second floor. <coughs> here we are on the second floor. And here is the little hallway. Again with the red carpet and the red stairs. You have a little window into the kitchen, and I wanted a massive kitchen, which is actually the main reason why I built this whole house, because I like building kitchens, and it seemed quite a fun way. Bit of hair there. Hate it when that happens. Um, so it's really big. You have a little island in the middle, with a cake stand with muffins, and a fruit bowl. You have a lone pizza on the work table and here you have a little dining table as well a little breakfast table, I don't know 
and you have a different design of stove actually using a window piece for the actual stove part um, you have a coffee maker a fridge a, a blender and that's a juicer this is what our juicer looks like anyway um, you have a sink and you have a certificate of graduation which are unrelated things and then you've got the big windows so you can see outside pretty well it's quite nice so now let's move on to the third floor the attic so the attic is where all of the bedrooms are located but before we look at that I forgot to tell you one more thing about the outside if you look here you have these profile bricks that give it some decoration around the sides of the windows so now that's done let's move on to the attic so I've got these little bumps here give it a little decoration which was actually quite a irritating roof to make mainly because it's very hard to make a nice roof actually so that was quite annoying and also I had to make it openable so that enough enough of the bedrooms were seen which was a challenge as well so let's go in and see what I've done for the roof is when you take it out you take out the bits in between the windows as well so that's that and you take out a bit of the roof as well and here we are and I think this provides enough light so we have the tumble dryer in the corner. We have a little brown hallway there. And then we have the same style of doors everywhere. So here you can walk into the parents' bedroom, which consists of one double bed, and that's it. There wasn't enough space for the bedrooms. I would have taken out that wall there and make, made a bit of bigger bedroom for the parents, but then the kid would have to walk through the parents' room before getting into his room, which could be quite disturbing. So, here's some brown planks, and then here is the kids' bedroom. Now, the kid's a bit of a science whiz, so I gave him quite a flat bed, quite a square bed, you know, so the bed kind of reflects that. And then I've made the bed removable so that you can really see what's inside. Well, it was meant to be removable. So here's what it is. It's a desk bed. So underneath the bed, you have a desk. And I've used the same design as the garden chair for the desk chair. And you have a mug there. And some drawers. And I've used window frames as the frame for the bed. So I quite like that. And here's the bed quite flat design, quite sloped actually. Nice, eh? And uh, you have the stairs there, and I think that is about it. So thank you for watching this video. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this, so please subscribe to keep getting more. So please like, comment, subscribe and share.